All right, I am here with the 2024 Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is a premium long range, which I've run down to 10% battery. Um, and this here is a Tesla supercharger adapter. We are at a Tesla supercharging station. That can deliver 250 kilowatts of charging. This can accept 150, so the charger's not gonna be a limiting factor. Let's find out how fast this charges. All right, so in full honesty, this is not our first attempt at this. Yesterday, we tried to do the same thing in a similar car, and the car refused to work with the supercharger. It would start the charging session and then kick it back off. Ford says that that was uh, based on software that was on that specific model that was a test model. Um, obviously, that shouldn't affect customers, though if you've had any problems, please let us know. Uh, but in order to plug it in, it does support plug and charge, so all you have to do, get the adapter on the handle first, plug that straight into the port, and if we come right over here, we'll see a blue light should start to come on in a sec. That shows that it is authenticating, although that's not quite happening yet. All right, there it is. The handshake has begun. You can hear some clicking from the car. And once that second blue light comes on, that means the charging has initiated. So I'm gonna wait for that to happen. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, just heard the charger click on. Fan is running. That should be good. Yeah, it's all right. Oh. Handshake still seems to be going on, but get yeah, past that. Car still not yet charging. Turn them off. It's like, yeah. All right, yep. charging is initiated, and we are fast charging. Great, that's good. That's good. All right, and we are set to be at 100% in an hour and 35 minutes, so that it is ramping up and that's coming down. So got the fast charging we are going already at 13 percent and less than a minute into it so as you can hear that supercharger is whirring away we have ramped up to 150 kilowatts which are our max charge rate now unfortunately the car itself will not tell you the uh, charging rate um, but it will tell you that it started charging at 4 14 so about two minutes ago and already we've gotten uh, up to 16%. So we've gained 6% of battery and another couple of miles of range. Now, uh, on the Ford Pass app, I can see that this is already hitting 150 uh, kilowatts. So I'll throw a screenshot in there. Um, but for now, we just wait. Um, I do wish they would show a time to 80%. Um, although Ford says there is a new version of this app that is rolling out in a staggered beta that gives you a little more detail in the, in the Ford Pass app. But the car itself, uh, pretty spare on data. Also of note, uh, it will not give you the option to manually precondition, and because the car's only recently got access to the Tesla supercharging network, when you route to a Tesla charger, it does not automatically precondition as it does if you route to, let's say, an Electrify America fast charger. So, uh, you know, I would say not quite uh, the seamless experience that you would get in a normal Tesla or something like that, but you still are able to get the preconditioning done if you trick it by routing to a separate uh, DC fast charger. Now, we didn't do that because for you, the consumer, the experience right now is you're not going to get the preconditioned, but we did make sure that battery got nice and warmed up for you. Also worth noting that if you are a Ford EV owner, you can get this adapter that allows you to charge at Tesla supercharger stations. Right now, about 15,000 of them for free. Open up the box. There's a nice little note from CEO Jim Farley. Thank you for being a Ford EV owner. Um, as of now, these are only open to Ford, Rivian, and Tesla owners. So that's a key advantage of buying a Mach-E or a Lightning right now. Now, we've been on the charger for about six, seven minutes, um, and already we're up to 32%. But note that like most EVs, there's a pretty significant slowdown as you get higher up on the battery charge. So this is only telling me what my time to 100% is. Uh, and as of now, it's 422. It's saying I'm gonna finish at 543. So I still got an hour and 21 minutes to get from 33% to 100. Um, so generally, we wouldn't recommend doing that, which is why this is a 10 to 80 test. Um, and Ford quotes a figure of 10 to 80 in 36 minutes. So let's see if we can hit that. So update at about 48%. Um, by 40%, we had tapered to 120 kilowatts, um, and now at 48, we're already tapered down to about 80 kilowatts. So uh, that taper hits on strong. You get most of your charge in that, you know, first uh, 
couple minutes, but we started charging at 414, it's now 429, so we're only 15 minutes in. We've already gone from 10 to 50%, um, but these next 20 minutes are all gonna be getting for 50K. All right, and we have finished uh, at 80%. And we took about 35 minutes. Now Ford says it should take 36, so just uh, just a little bit ahead of schedule. And on the charger that I was able to deliver the max power the whole time, uh, did taper off too badly, and not a bad performance from the Mach-E.